All right, peeps. It's freaking St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. I got it on. Here for the shenanigans. They've been happening all freaking day. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of like hunched over a little bit in this shirt because it makes me feel like Jennifer Aniston. All the guys will know what I'm talking about. But watch this. Do you guys see this? What is going on? I'm sweating. It's hot out. And Jennifer Aniston. Brad Allport. Jennifer Aniston. It's embarrassing. I can't believe I've been I can't believe I've been showing people that. It's ridiculous. So today is St. Patrick's Day, and I am house sitting. And you know what that means? Because I live in a van. So when I'm house sitting, I am house sh pooping. Yeah, I get to poop in a house, shower in a house. It's like pretty glorious. I am, sorry, there's something hanging off of my beard though. That was like a, I don't even know what's going on. I'm selling so much stuff on eBay and there's like people popping up going, how much for the armoire? How much for this? How much for that? Come on. Look at me, I'm sweating. So like I said, I'm house sitting. And I just walked the dog, so I'm like sweating like that. When I say walk the dog, I walk her like a little ways to the park. She pooped. I was like, I gotta poop. But then when I got back, I didn't have to poop anymore. That's what happens. Um, yeah, so I'm house sitting for my friend Wayne and Julie. Well, they're off on their own little shenanigans in a Quebec. And, um, yeah, I have like a little surprise for them. They have no idea. I'm not going to post. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to actually shoot another video right after this. Um, and then I'll post it after they get home to let you guys see what I actually am doing here. I think they're going to be totally excited. They have no idea. This is like a St. Patrick's Day present from Bradley Allport. Um, and yeah, people were, I was like, oh, you know, I'll throw on the old kilt tonight. Um, a lot of people don't realize because they go by my um, born name, Jason Barn Brad Allport. Um, but my mother was in O'Connor. Yeah. So do you guys see that? It's like something going on when I said my mom's name. It's like she's like right there shooting some light at me from the heavens. Um, yeah, so she's in O'Connor. So, uh, I thought I'd throw on the old duds. I don't have my sparring on. I don't have anything else on. I know um, there's the number one question that people have is, oh, what's underneath the kilt? You'll have to wait to the end for all you people that just kind of like hit the little thing and you scroll across. Rude. Watch the whole video. Um, I don't know about everybody else. I don't really drink alcohol a whole lot no you know hardly ever to be honest with you i just don't like the taste of it it tastes bitter and all my friends they bust my chops because they're like oh craft beer and real men and hairy chests and we're like so you know manly blah 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 blah. see i'm trying to like hunch my shoulders over so my boobies aren't poking out don't want to scratch the camera lens um what the heck was i talking about Oh, what's underneath the kilt? We'll get to it. Um, so I had an Irish supper tonight. Yes. I had myself a McDouble and some McNuggets. No, I didn't, but I wa I really wanted to. Uh, I haven't had like greasy food like that. Oh, I'm lying. Uh, my coworker uh, decided to talk me into, well, one of my old coworkers workers um talked me into mucking some mcdangles um and i was like well it's close enough to freaking st patrick's day let's do it and i'll tell you it was a bad idea i was mc freaking pooping and mcpiddling mcdonald's if you're over 50 i really discourage anybody that's younger than 50 once you hit 50 don't eat mcdonald's drink their coffee but uh do not do not eat their food. It's, it'll put you right in a friggin' casket. I feel like I got a zit or something going on here. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to pop it, though. You know what happens when you pop it? You get friggin' scars and stuff. So, people want to know. 
What's under me kilt? I don't know. This is. I don't even know what's underneath my kilt. Get my hands up underneath here. Oh, there is some stuff underneath there. Uh, I just wear shorts and underwear and boxers. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go like this while I'm talking. Um, and so yeah, uh, that's what's underneath there. I'll give you a little. A little preview and then I gotta go I think I do gotta go to the bathroom I gotta pee watching a dog pee in a park makes you have to pee in a park I don't want to um like show a whole lot because this isn't my house so I don't feel comfortable doing it but just to let you know I am wearing my freaking it's a really bad angle it makes me look like my guts like popping out can't really see it very well very well let's see what we got maybe I'll back up a little bit here I'll let you see. I'll let you see what's under me kilt. I'm joking. That'd be disgusting. Okay. Yeah, well, whatever. If you want to know what's under my kilt, you'll have to tackle me and hold me down and lift me kilt. Because I'm not doing it. And it's I'm not don't have the traditional garb on, so um I'm not. This video, why do the videos always fly? Six and a half minutes. I feel like I didn't even get to say all the things I want to say. Happy th St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Um, Kristen McCoy, I am going to Ken's birthday at Beaufort Pub. Let me know what he drinks. I'll sneak him in a bottle and a straw. I'm looking forward to it. People, masks, they're going to be gone on Monday. You know what? Get back to enjoying our lives. Still be safe. Do what you got to do um, to, you know, to stay, stay safe. But, um, you know, this we're all going to have an amazing summer. I hope everybody can take the opportunity to visit all the relatives that you haven't gotten to. And whew, my ADHD, I'm ADHD. And, um, and uh, I lost my train of thought there. Anyways. Happy St. Patrick's Day and a special shout out to my good Irish gal, Sandy Fitzgerald. She's in the hospital right now. Uh, I'm not going to go into any details as to why, but Sandy, I hope that you're feeling better every single day. If everybody can just say a little prayer for my friend Sandy. Um, I did a little birthday uh, tribute for her last year and she's near and dear to my heart. Um, some health issues and stuff going on, but you know what? Send a little prayer up for her tonight. I'm sure that she'd appreciate it. Lovely gal. Lovely lass. All right, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Seven, eight minutes.